Hi all, in this video on our series on JMRI's Panel Pro, we're going to be going through how we add our mast to our layout and to our test section of track, and in particular how we attach the mast to this turnout LT89. In our previous video, I went through how we add switch addresses to signal heads, and how with our signal heads we would create our signal masts. And we went ahead and we created a single head dwarf signal. Because of my layout, I used speed-based routing or speed-based signaling. I'm going to be putting a triple head mast associated with LT89 onto our test section of track. The triple head mast allows us to have some of the lower speeds associated with the speed-based signaling system that I use that is defined in JMRI. So to do this, what we do is we click on the turnout here, which is a right click, which brings up our drop down menu. Then we scroll down to set signal masts. And what that will do is it brings up our set signal mast at turnout window, which as you can see, it is the turnout name LT89, which is associated with our right hand turnout on our panel. You'll see that we have three block boundary windows in our set signal mast at turnout window. The first one refers to the block boundary of LS2 to LS3. So when working in our set signal mask window, we're reading from left to right, so LS2 to LS3. Then when we go back onto our panel, we're talking about this block here, which is LS2 to LS3. LS3 is associated with LT89, and all of my turnouts on my layout are their own individual blocks. So what we're talking about with the set signal mask window here and this first block boundary or boundary of LS2 to LS3 is this green anchor point here to the left of the right hand turnout. And this is the block boundary that we'll be setting the triple head mast to. The other two block boundaries within our window are the boundary of LS4 to LS3. So again, reading from left to right, LS4 to LS3. When we go back to our test section of track and onto our panel, we're going from LS4 to LS3. So actually going from the right to the left, or if we're talking about on the layout, we'd be talking about heading in a westbound direction. The next set signal mask window and the block boundary that we're talking about is the block boundary of LS5 to LS3. So reading from left to right, but then we're reverting back to the panel and back to our layout, we're going from the right back to the left. All right, so we're going from our passing siding LS5 back into our right-hand diverging route of LS3, our right-hand turnout. And moving along, we're going to place our triple head mast onto our layout panel. So we're working off the boundary of LS2 to LS3. So we go to our signal mast drop-down box and we scroll down till we find our newly created triple head mast, which is this one on the bottom. We click on that, and then what we need to do is we need to place the mast onto the panel. And we want the mast to be on the right-hand side of the track or the engineer's side of the locomotive. So once we've clicked on right-hand side, this will define what side of the track we want the mast on. We click Done, and you'll see what it's actually done is it's placed the triple head mast onto the track itself. And it's located within block two, and it's right on the boundary of LS2 to LS3, which is where we want the track. So if we do a right click on the signal itself, and we scroll down to change aspect, you can actually then go and scroll through and see all the available aspects that are now in that triple head mast. So what we can do is we can scroll all the way up to the top, so our least permissive signal and click on clear and you'll see that it changes to a solid green aspect on the top head. And in our middle and lower heads are all dropped down to red. What we'll do in another video later on is we'll then set up the signal logic once we've placed our remaining signals on our test section of track. 